In this video, let's see how you can install WordPress on a DigitalOcean droplet. Currently, I am logged into my DigitalOcean dashboard and the next step is to go to the marketplace. Marketplace is a place where you can find a number of pre-configured applications. WordPress is one of them. Let me click on that option which takes me to the next page where I can see more details. Coming to the software included section, you can see the list of all the software included with this application. This includes MySQL, Apache, PHP and Surfbot for SSL management. Clicking on the create WordPress droplet creates a new droplet and installs all these software into that. Before deploying a new droplet, we can also customize it. Now I am back on the create droplets page where we can see that the WordPress 6 with Ubuntu option is already pre-selected. Scroll down and there you can select a plan. Basic shared CPU which costs $5 per month is the cheapest one. Then choose a data center region. I am going to select Bangalore. Followed by that you can set the authentication method. Choose between SSH keys or password. Let me select password and then it asks me to set a root password. Set a strong password that's at least 8 characters long. Also, make sure you save this password to a safe place as we need it later to connect to our server using SSH. For now, I am going to copy it to the text editor. Below that, there are a couple of additional options. Let's ignore it for now. Below that, select the number of droplets as one. Optionally, you can also set a custom host name. I am going to set it as WordPress droplet. Then click create droplet. Now the droplet is being deployed and it can take a couple of seconds to complete. Once the droplet is deployed, open the get started section which gives you additional information on how to complete the installation. At the top you can see a list of things that the script has already configured for us and below that there is an instruction to SSH into the server. Before that we want to point the domain name to the IP address so let me copy the IP address then go to the DNS manager where I want to point the domain to the new IP address. Click save. Otherwise the SSL installation may fail. Now copy the SSH command. Then open a terminal window. And run the SSH command. SSH root at IP address. We are logging in as the root user. Click yes to continue. Then enter the password we have configured. Then enter the domain name apinavar.com. Then enter an email address, username for the WordPress site. Also enter a password for the WordPress site. You can also enter the blog title. Confirm the information and click yes to install the SSL certificate as well. The certificate will be issued by the Let's Encrypt Authority. Agree. Yes. Leave the input blank. Now the domain is being verified before issuing the certificate. Ok, it's a success. Select whether you want to modify the server configuration to redirect HTTP to HTTPS. No. Completing the configuration. Ok. Ok, the installation is successfully completed. Now let's open the site in a browser window. I have opened an incognito window and the site is already accessible at the address avinavar.com HTTPS is also working Next let's try logging into the dashboard Go to the WP admin page and enter the username and password The password we set before 
and we were able to successfully log into the dashboard. Go to the site health page to check whether there are any errors in the configuration and it looks like everything is good. Go to the info page and you can see the server details. Database as well. Everything looks fine. So that was one of the easiest way to install WordPress on DigitalOcean. There are other ways as well, which we will discuss in future videos. I hope you found this one useful. Thanks for watching.